thank you very much. Thank you just you, mentioned Beth. the Arizona governor, Doug Ducey. No relation to this Ducey. He joins <laughs> us right now from Arizona. Good morning to you, Good Governor. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You say that uh, now that the president has ordered up, uh, four th up to 4,000 National Guardsmen to uh, guard our southern border, this should not be a partisan issue. Well, it's, it's not a partisan issue. This is all about public safety. We're talking about securing our border and stopping the flow of uh, illegal drugs and human trafficking that's happening at the border. That's something that a governor does. Their first role and responsibility is to protect the public and uh, to make cer certain there's a border security. And I'm thankful that we have an administration that sees it the same way. And what is your role in this? How many are you sending down to the border? My role is to, to deploy the National Guard. We're working with 225. We're called up yesterday. We're going to call up another 113 today. We're working directly with Secretary Nielsen, Director of Homeland Security, and of course our General of, of the National Guard and Department of Public Safety, uh, Frank Milstead. We have a, a border strike force that we've had for the last several years because Washington wasn't addressing this issue, and thankfully today they are. Mm -hmm. Well, Governor, the uh, the key would be uh, ultimately is not to be able to uh, have to deploy the National Guard. And a lot of people think that putting a permanent barrier would work. If I could give you a permanent barrier, what would it look like? How many miles would you need? Well, we have about 379 miles of border here in Arizona. About two-thirds of it has a physical barrier somewhere is on it. Is it good enough, that physical barrier? Well, it's not good bigger? enough. In many places, it's wide open and unprotected. That's why I think putting the National Guard down there in support of the Border Patrol is a good idea. But to secure the border, to stop these illegal drugs, to stop the human trafficking, we're going to need technology. We're going to need that physical barrier. Mm -hmm. We're going to need a, a wall in different places, boots on the ground, and people that are there ob observing with cameras so that we can, we can stop this flow of illegal traffic that's sure. coming into our state and into our country. When you became governor, was that one of the things that surprised you the most about your state? What's happening there on the border? And you said only a third of it has, has some sort of a barrier? About two-thirds of it two -thirds, has a barrier. Okay. I would say the biggest surprise for me was going down to the border, working with the ranchers, and seeing how wide open and unprotected our border was and how much it was ignored and neglected in the previous right. administration. There's been some consistency in this administration. It's definitely getting uh, attention. And it's part of the reason that we've been able to drive the number of illegal flow down, but it surged dramatically in, in March, and there's action being taken immediately. Sure. Governor, you said that this should not be a partisan issue when it comes to ordering up the National Guard to secure our southern border. But then you've got uh, the governor of your next door state, California, Jerry Brown, up in Sacramento. He hasn't decided whether or not this is a good idea. Well, we do things a lot different than Jerry Brown mm -hmm. does here in Arizona. Uh, we think that this uh, flow of, of drugs and human trafficking is something that we want to stop. We want to keep our state safe and secure for the Arizonans that, that live here. Uh, I was on a conference call with Governor Brown. It was very productive. It sounded like he would be cooperative, but he's got to make these decisions. What do you mean cooperative? Well, it was a good discussion. It was uh, myself, Governor Brown, Governor Abbott, and Governor Martinez. And the discussion with uh, Secretary Nielsen was what the situation was at, at the border and how the National right. Guard could help. Yeah, but he hasn't done anything. What's the problem? You know, well, this sounds like a question for Governor Brown. Right. Did he say, did he tell you he was going to send troops down to his border? He said he was going to consider it. I mean, each of the yeah, governors were treated as leaders of their okay. states. And your state just blocked colleges from offering in-state tuition to Dreamers as well. The Supreme Court. Than, than California. No, it, 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 it didn't block it. It was already the law of the land. The Supreme Court made the decision that that was the law. So now the onus is back on the regents as to how they solve this Got issue. It. Got it. Yeah. How can Thank you, you get in-state tuition if you are You're in the country legal. illegally? That's a, that's a head scratcher. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Governor. And happy birthday. Was it Thanks yesterday? very much. Appreciate it. It was yesterday. Thank okay, you very good. much. All right, Governor Ducey. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's 19 minutes now before the top of the hour on this Tuesday. The economy is booming in the state of Nebraska. There are more residents working and fewer people on welfare in the unicameral Cornhusker state. So what's their secret? That report coming up next. Plus, our friend and new mom, Anna Coyman, is back. We're going to catch up with her and her precious baby boy, Brooks.